Um, so it will be available on YouTube later uh, later today um, if you want to review it. And uh, to make sure you have an opportunity to ask questions, uh, make sure you open up your webinar menu. You should have a, a menu to the top right of your computer screen. Uh, there's an orange arrow button. If it's uh, if it's closed automatically, you can click on that button. You can find the question section. You can type in questions, and we'll have a couple of couple of periods where we'll. Uh, We'll stop for questions, but please go ahead and type them in as they come to you so we have them ready. And, uh, and our Derek and Tom and Liz can speak to them uh, quickly and, uh, and directly. So I'm going to invite Derek to go ahead and get started. Derek? Okay. Well, the first slide just talks about who Cleaning Business Builders is, in case not everyone on this call knows us. Um, obviously, it's myself, Tom, and Liz, but between us, our companies generate over $6 million in revenue a year. And not used to generate, not a couple decades ago, not if you add together all the years we've ever been in business. That's what combined our businesses will do this year. And between us, we have about 90 years of combined experience with us and our key managers and co-owners. Um, we have all three of our firms are IICRC certified, and we've got over 22 certified techs working for us. So we definitely believe in pretty strong training. Um, you know. The, one of the things you're going to learn about our program is we don't like to prescribe to people exactly how things have to be done because that's because between the three of us, we've got solo cleaners, we've got two-person cleaning teams, and we've got large four- and five-person cleaning teams. So those type of decisions can depend a lot on your strengths, your weaknesses, your financial needs, etc. cetera, um, but we know how to handle those procedures across those. We do standard cleaning, green cleaning, and specialty cleaning. And what I've always found fascinating is that we operate in a variety of markets. We've got everything from Charleston and Olympia, which are small markets, to Cincinnati and Dayton, which are larger markets, all the way up to uh, my brother's branch of my maid service operates in Dallas, which is one of the biggest uh, markets in the country. And between us, we do a lot of what we call plus or additional services, carpet cleaning, commercial cleaning. Um, we do cleaning for... Uh, vacation rental. So we've got some uh, experience in some of those other areas as well. You know, we asked everyone on the last uh, Foundations event, we asked them to give us just one word of what they thought um, described the entire experience for them. And that's what you're seeing up here. And you see a lot of the really serious ones, you know, amazing growth, proud, enlightenment was the one word. And then a few of them are also a little bit goofy and fun when you put uh, 20 something people in a building for a week and have us hang out for a week. Uh, we also got a little bit of dessert and Nutella, which may have a little bit to do with me, as you will see later on. Um, I stay at the house and I may have caused those two words. But you'll see overall most of them are pretty uh, dramatic changes. And this is the end of the program. You can see everyone's very excited to be part of this sixth foundation class. That's why they're making a little six symbol. Um, that's me in the top right in the green shirt, kind of away from everyone else, looking kind of depressed. And that's because they woke me up from a nap. So please forgive my depressed look. You'll notice everyone in the class is excited. I'm just worn out from teaching everyone. But everyone else is having fun, including Liz somehow, which I don't know how that works out. You'll discover when you actually sign up for the program, they're kind of mean to me and make me teach the last two days. Liz, you're up. Well, it's a, a great week. And the last class was a fun start. It started out a little bit bumpy. We had Bobby Frugally in class who had broken her foot a few weeks before, and it was a really bad break. But, you know, it didn't hold her down. She still showed up at Foundations. It looks like she's being arrested for something. But actually, the cops were so nice. They saw her, and they decided to give her a ride back to the, the mansion, which was amazing. Didn't slow her down at all either because she did end up on the beach with everybody else and checking out the turtle eggs and looking at the waves. So. It's a great time, even for somebody with a broken foot. So you can't really see in the back here very well, um, but we have Denise Bogan from Brooklyn, Sharon Grammer from outside of St. Louis. We've got Rhonda Shuker from Toronto, Bobby Frugley, who was right there in the front with her little broken foot, and then Michelle Car Michelle Carstock, who is from New York. Um, they started the first morning of the program filming a, a bunch of dolphins out uh, maybe 30 yards off the end of the pier. And it's, you can't really see it here because it's right off the right-hand side, but that was they were so close that they were actually filming them and, and posting them on their Facebook pages. It was really, 
It was really amazing. I, I heard about it and I didn't get it. Uh, this is a picture of, I guess, uh, the Sunday before we actually start. We actually start uh, our, our program material on, on a Monday morning, but uh, we get together uh, Sunday to do one-on-one -on -one coaching, and that's where uh, we're able to go over some of the um, prerequisite material that, that we work on before coming here. It's, it's basically collecting some data and answering some, uh, some questions, framing up uh, information about, about your business. So at that point, we're able to um, have a good understanding of where everybody is and uh, can, can, can work on uh, specific business issues in everybody's uh, business throughout the course of the week. Um, here's an example of uh, one of the uh, presentations that, that we do early on in the program where um, we help us uh, go through an exercise to, to figure out more about what our uh, business model looks like. And you can see here, um, it's just a lot of questions. And you can say, I'm in the cleaning business, you're in the cleaning business, we're all in the cleaning business. But um, as Derek said earlier, we're not prescriptive at all and everybody's business can be very different and still be in, in, in the house cleaning business. So you know, who your client is, what uh, type of products you use, what your overall objectives are, how do you sell, how do you hire, how do you train, all those things uh, determine what your business looks like. And we want to uh, get a perspective of that early on so we can flow into what uh, we call our process flow model for foundations. At the highest level, running a house cleaning business is fairly simple. You've got uh, the purple boxes at the top where you're, you're recruiting, hiring, and training people to clean homes. You've got the sales pipeline in the green where you're finding homes to clean. You mix them all up and you schedule dispatch and clean, and that's uh, pretty, pretty much it, what it is at the uh, highest level. Each one of those boxes represents a process that we have to explain um, in detail, and that's where we really uh, do most of our work uh, throughout the week is working inside of each one of those boxes, looking at the processes and techniques to um, build a strong business. If you're able to perform in these areas, then you've basically got it. So sometimes in class, it gets a little overwhelming, and one of the things that happens uh, with our brains is when we start feeling overwhelmed, we tend to shut down. And that's what was happening, happening here. Lily was sitting in class and she was about full up <laughs> and she was shutting down. So we had to get her up, get her blood flowing, get everything moving back up to her brain so that she could keep on working. And five minutes of stretching and she was good to go again. Kind of looks like it, um, I'm in multiple places at the same time here, but at any point in time uh, throughout the, the week, you've got options where you can spend your time doing one of several things. Um, we have our schedule up, and you'll know what classes are being offered when throughout the course of the week that you can set in a formal class, or you can schedule one-on-one -on -one coaching with uh, one of the coaches that aren't presenting at that particular time, or if you choose to, um, if the class really is something that you're, you're uh, comfortable with and um, you really don't want to want to take advantage of, of the coaching at that particular time, you can enjoy the beach or the pool or one of the other uh, things you can do and just uh, catch your breath and relax. So you've got a lot of options as to how you can spend your time throughout that week. Um, here's an example of uh, Michelle Carr. She uh, was in our last uh, foundations class. and. Uh, Here's an example of where she was taking some of her time uh, relaxing and meditating. Now this picture is showing Derek making something yummy, probably something covered with Nutella. And I have no idea which version of Jumpstart this was because Derek is always making something yummy for us to eat. That's the chocolate uh, Doritos, if you must know. Is that what it is? <laughs> and the melted chocolate, oh my gosh, they're so delicious. I still love the apple pie stuff I've made. Uh, one of the great things about the program is we keep you well fed. CC actually sends out a, uh, I guess it's a questionnaire of your favorite foods, the different areas, different things that you like, and that's what she stocks in the pantry. That's all of the stuff that we like because we're going to be there for a week, and we need to be well-fed and well-nourished and have enough protein to get our brains revved up and run. So it's a, 
it's just fun. We're going to talk a bit for us. Now, all the sugar comes in handy because you are sometimes going to be working really hard and having to concentrate. This is a picture of uh, everybody working on their core values in their company. They were handed a deck of core values cards, and they were assigned to take a few minutes and go through the exercise that you guys have probably heard about. If not, feel free to ask us a little bit about that more, uh, later. Happy to explain that to you. Um, going through the first time is a little bit difficult, but you have to get through this process, be able to figure out why you're cleaning in the first place and what matters to you so that you can push forward. Uh, it's another critical early week step toward focusing and streamlining your big business, especially in the areas of hiring and making policies that reflect your own core values. Now what you're seeing here is one of the most popular days of the week, and we've taught this class a couple times now, and it's always one of the most popular. And this is the day that we go to Castle Keepers. And we actually watch an in-service. So you're, these pictures are actually from uh, Tom's company, Castle Keepers, in Charleston. We go there for a day. We watch how they actually get the teams up uh, morning. They do some demos on training. And I can't say it enough. I've probably visited at this point almost 100 cleaning services across the country. And Castle Keepers is still the most organized, best run I have ever seen. If you've never been there or never heard about it before, you just really have to go almost just to see the experience. I've described it that if my former employer, Procter Gamble, ran a cleaning company, that's how it would run. This is a picture of uh, Dwayne. He's our operations manager, and she's there with Liz, and this is part of the day. They're actually standing in uh, part of our training facility. We uh, have about 3,000 square feet of our uh, office built out to uh, mock up the interior of a residential uh, home, and it looks like they're standing in the kitchenette. And uh, we talk about our training program and, and how uh, you know the, the, the process flow of, of how we bring new hires in and spend the first th several days of their employment with us actually training in this facility to learn the basics of how to be a cleaning technician before giving them a chance to go into the field. Um, we spend some time in the office as well. Um, we, we talk about everything from you know how our sales training works to customer service to how we handle our scheduling and dispatching. You know, it's uh, where a lot of the action happens throughout the day. That's kind of uh, the central hub where all the communication goes, and uh, we have fun there as well. Um, here's another uh, picture of our um, central office, our schedule and dispatch here. We have monitors on the wall that we track everything from key performance indicators to uh, locations of teams with uh, GPS devices. And we spend time uh, going over our uh, scheduling and uh, dispatching processes here as well. I love this picture, but you're going to have to look closely to see some of the details. Uh, right on the top, you'll see Dawn with a black shirt sitting on some stairs. Those are stairs that have actually been created inside Castle Keepers because this is their training house. This is a good chunk of it. You can see that Derek on the bottom right is sitting on a bed because that's a bedroom that is built inside Castle Keepers. So this is one of the main reasons that our hiring and recruiting, orientation, training, staff management, promotion, and termination classes are all held at Castle Keepers because it's the best way to actually get immersed into how we do this stuff. You see the coaches have long stopped doing these things themselves, uh, ourselves, um, but we have built systems not only for someone else to do the training, but also to train our trainers. So we have a program on training your trainer, which is very, very valuable to the vast majority of the people who've gone through the foundation course. It's part of what's included in foundations too. Um, it's a way to get you out of the actual task. And even though you're never going to be completely out of your business, this is one way to pass on the knowledge and pass on the information. Okay, so this was a, an ethical question that I posted on Facebook that just on the spur of the moment, and I got so much response. People were really, really struggling with what is the right thing to do. Uh, should you call and your competitors and find out what their pricing is? Well, you know, what exactly is okay there? That was great information. It's something that we're going to be doing in the course is 
helping you to uh, deepen your understanding of what the local market wants versus what you think they want, and this is one of the ways that we do that. This is uh, one of our KPI uh, presentations. You can see on the screen there's a spreadsheet. We've got several uh, KPI uh, models, tools that, that, that you'll get and learn how to use throughout the course of the week, all building up to uh, putting our uh, action plan together <clears throat> over the weekend uh, that, that where we're wrapping up. If you notice, there are uh, green numbers, red numbers, and green numbers you want to make go higher. That's everything from bill rate to service frequency. Red numbers are things like uh, customer attrition and, and, and skips and employee turnover and make green numbers go up, red numbers go down, you're building your business, you plug your company's numbers in there and we can project over the, the upcoming weeks, months and years and ultimately out to perpetuity uh, what your business is going to look like in terms of revenue, profit, uh, number of employees and it's a very important planning tool that once we learn how to use, we use it throughout the week as we move from one process to another in the foundation's process flow. So we feed your brains all day long and we also feed your bodies. CT provides us with a wide variety of cuisines all week long and this particular day we had a Greek Lebanese feast with, if you'll notice on the bottom left here, some of their kale chips just there so we cooking something. And he didn't like that the kale was curly, but yeah, we all we all thought the slime tasted divine. Uh, we had great food all week long in the pantry, and also brought in for lunches and dinners. There. Eric, I think you might be up here. Oh, you must have lost Derek. So, you there, Derek? No, I'm here. Sorry, uh, I thought I this I missed this one. You right? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so we also use this format where we do some solo teaching with people, um, and we ask lots of questions and kind of try to uh, participate and get people involved. Um, when this picture's taken, everyone's hands up because we're asking to make sure um, everyone has the same issues. See if this has happened in their business before. We like to do a lot of occasional check-ins just to see what's going on and because we realize that there's not a lot of standardized practices, but we want to share that variation and try to find the common commonalities between you and where we can customize what you learn in class. You know, we mentioned the workshops, the breakout workshops we do, but you know, we don't have a bunch of pictures of them. I guess uh, everybody's broken out and working in them and we somehow we, we missed that. But here's a picture of one of them. Um, here's an example of, of where we're working on sales pitches and follow-up letters and, 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 and emails. Um, we, there's a number of exercises that we'll break out and work on, some of them in groups, some of them as individuals, taking some of the material that, that we're uh, you know presenting and, and, and actually applying it, again, all working up to our action plan towards the end of the week. This is something that we call on the spot. Basically, if you've ever tried to do a round table or a conference call in the past, there's always one or two people that dominates and takes over the whole thing. This is a format that we created that is a lot of fun where you ask a question and three or four of us will answer the question for one minute each. So you get four very rapid fire questions and it's been pretty impressive how much knowledge you can cram into 60 seconds. I think people get a lot out of this session and it's a lot of fun. We do it at the end of the day. Um, it's a good time if you've had a parking lot issue that didn't make sense any of the other classes to bring it up here. It's also the only time where you're allowed to ask us how we do things. The rest of the class, we don't like to give you the answers um, because we don't want you just to copy us, but this is the one time when you can say, you know what, I know you told me there's 10 ways to do this, but what's the way you do it? And you get our 60 second answer. And we tried to get uh, models to volunteer for beach pictures and you know people put on their swimsuits and would go out on the beach and play around but nobody was brave enough to actually take us up on, on, on that uh, offer but there is a beach and we did play on it and you know here's a picture to at least prove the beach is there. <laughs> uh, this picture is showing uh, some 
an example of some of the templates that we provide. So you'll notice at the bottom here, this is about online reviews. We give an example of a company response to a, a, an online review that is showing up. That's something that we all have to deal with. We give you a bunch of different templates, and this is uh, an example of what we call the cat apology, a thank, an apology, an apology, and then thanks again, and how that works to get the uh, uh, customer around to a new way of thinking. This next slide is about our ratings. So just like you are trying to get your ratings from your clients to find out how you're doing all the time, we do the same thing in the Jumpstart course. Every single day you will rate us on how well we're doing. Um, five is we're hitting the mark 100%. We're always exceeding, uh, exceeding your expectations. And one is 100% mission the mark, not meeting any of the expectations. We do this because every single day we go home at the end of the day and we get brief on how the day went. We look at your ratings and we make changes and improvements to the program based on the individual people who are in the program because not everyone learns in the same way. That's something that you'll learn in the trainer, train the trainer course as well. Because everyone learns in a different way, we, are, we work hard to make sure that our program meets the needs of the individual participants. And you'll see here is our weekly rating that we post every day we fill it in. This is obviously from June. We started out with a 4.54. And at the end of the course, we ended up with a 4.92 on Saturday. Uh, some of you that are going to be in the course, you'll see why it went down to a 4.92 when we had a 5. It's because that last day is brutal. You're exhausted and you're making that last plan. It's the yearly plan. You have to have everything in there and it just feels like, oh my gosh, I need another week. If you don't have another week, you have another hour maybe. So that is a struggle for people. So we've, we've been working a little bit on how to how to take some of the pressure out of that last day as well because of this little bit of a drop. So that's how this works. That's how our rating system works. Alrighty. So can you tell what this is? This is just a picture of me and Cece. Somehow we're in matching clothes. <laughs> uh, we showed up the same day. This is just kind of funny. All right, Liz mentioned this earlier, but one of the things we really try to do is make sure that you go home with a plan. Um, the entire last day, Saturday, is no new material. What we do is sit down and work on this chart, which is hard to see on the presentation you've got, but we go through all the different parts of the business, and we talk about how are you going to implement this when you get home. What are you going to do in January, February, March, and all of the key areas on your business? When, what, what are you doing? When is it going to be done by? How do we take that big goal and break it down into smaller steps? And then you have accountability calls with your coach after the program. Well, we're going to check in and see if you're on track, off track, and what can we do to help you. So it, it's one thing to go and hear all this great stuff. We want to make sure you leave with a plan on how to do it. This is a picture that uh, Cece took, and this is of the living room over at the mansion. and. The perspective uh, that you see is like from the front of uh, what we would say the classroom. We do uh, a number of our presentations from, from this room. And you can see all the way in the back is the kitchen. Um, off to the right, the big open windows. You're overlooking the ocean. Um, flip charts there on the left. The uh, projector and screen is, is, is off to your right. So it, it, it's really comfortable. The furniture is nice. Um, it's, you know, if you want to get want to walk around, you want to go to the kitchen, get something, want to take a walk on the porch or whatever. I mean, it's uh, it's just a, a really, really great uh, setup for, for this type of uh, workshop and classroom environment. Um, gee, there's a poor picture of Derek up there in the top left. Looks like he uh, needs to go back to bed, huh? <laughs> Um, here's a picture of uh, some of our alumni, people who participated in the last classes. Uh, some of the folks actually have gotten together from various classes and have formed uh, working relationships in terms of uh, partners where they help each other um, work on particular, they're called accountability partners, where 
um, they'll they'll schedule uh, a, a call maybe once or twice a month. Then it kind of uh, creates incentive for everybody to stay focused on their their growth goals. And uh, we go cross classes on that. And there's a there's a closed Facebook page that everybody uh, plugs into and shares and, and kind of coaches and pushes each other as well. And together, it's a uh, it's a pretty neat community where people have gone through the program. Uh, form bonds and, and work together on working on their business. I think that Candy up in the top, top left picture, too. Yeah. I think she's talking on the phone. Is Sandy with us? No, unfortunately Sandy was not able to join us. Oh, that's such a bummer. So, um, I guess the question would be, uh, what's next after the six months foundation program? Um, after we do that, we have a program that is designed specifically for, for the alumni where um, everybody gets our cell phone number uh, and if uh, you have any questions or issues, feel free to give us a call. Um, we have you know other modes of communication as well. We have a monthly uh, presentation that is new material. It's more in-depth uh, perspective where we, we, we're building upon what we, what we do during the uh, initial foundations class. And we've got a whole lineup of, of material going into 2016 where we do a monthly uh, presentation on something new that builds upon uh, tools that helps us uh, develop uh, the, the basic processes within the process flow. Another thing that we're really proud of is that our alumni in this program have been very successful at winning various national awards. I think Cece did the math and told us that 50% of the ARCSI awards in the last two years have been uh, won by some of our alumni, and you'll see that up there. Everything from marketing programs to overall uh, best startup companies with, with the Hart Scholarship to the best office manager program. So we've won tons of awards, and through our relationship with Cleaning Business Today, we also make sure that when our alumni win the awards, they get a lot of local recognition. But it's not just the ARCSI awards. Some of our alumni have also won things. Like you can see Joe won a SCORE uh, Business Award for the Green Entrepreneur of the Year. Amy Wiggs has won awards for Best Cleaning Service in Norman, Oklahoma for two years in a row. So we're very proud of how well of our alumni have done after they got out of the program and the success they've gone on to. All right, so if the program is sounding interesting right now, but you'd still like to hear a little bit more about it, I'm going to get, go into a few more details in a second here. But if you are interested right now and you think you'd really love to have a private consultation, go directly to the chat message right now on the right-hand side of your screen, uh, right where it has the little type message here, words, and type in your name. And CC will get you scheduled for that. So what happens if you wait? Don't wait. I keep hearing from people, oh, I just can't do it right now. You have to do it right now. If you don't do it right now, you're going to miss out altogether. And then in a year, you're going to be in the exact same spot that you're in right now. I can't tell you how many times I've had people say, I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to do it later. And a year later, same exact spot. They finally do sign up a year, two years later. But you know what? You don't have that luxury right now. With so many people uh, joining the program, we are actually having to put more of our effort into our alumni than into the classes uh, that we've done. So if you've already had a consultation, then great. That's, that's exactly what we want to hear. Go into cleaningbusinesstoday.com, into the store. And uh, I, I think you can go into cleaningbusinessbuilders.com, too. And put down your $500 deposit, and then get your spot secured. Uh, you want to be the first people in. The, the, the sooner you sign up, the better your room. Uh, a lot of rooms have, have beached you. I'm not sure if we have any of those left, but we may. And you also will lock out anybody else from your local market, which is a really big deal. You don't want people doing the same educational programs that you're doing at the same time because they're going to be doing everything you're doing and you won't have that leg up, but you will if you're the only one in your market. And so you can contact any of us. Here are our personal 
cell phone, that's what those are there. And also you can reach us by email or go to the website. Uh, please contact any of us. We'd love to talk to you and help you get a better understanding. All right. So I want to get into the nitty gritty about some of the stuff that's actually covered. So on the left hand side you'll see we have six different major topics. Business strategy, employee life cycle, sales procedure, cleaning procedure, operations, and marketing. Now you have probably heard a lot of this information. Uh, oh, but I've heard about sales. I, I see sales programs all the time. I can see watch three webinars. This is not the same thing. That's not what we're talking about here. You are actually going to be in a very short class. And then you're going to be taking the information that you learn and applying it to your personal business on the spot. You're going to be doing it on that day, in that time frame, with somebody leaning over your shoulder saying, no, no, that won't work for your business, or yes, 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 that will work for your business. If you've been having trouble with your employees not, not coming to work on time or not showing up at all, we help you write that handbook so that you actually have some recourse. You actually have a way to manage those things. We help you write your operations manual. We're going to give you templates for almost every single thing that you can think of. And you're just going to have to put in your name and your company name. And you're ready to go. Now, of course, you can modify them and make them uniquely your own. But to get you started, you're going to have a template for every single thing that you want to look at. All right, so the Jumpstart experience is January 10th through 16th. There are over 70 hours of classes and workshops. It's a full day on site at Castle Keepers. You've heard about Castle Keepers, 10,000 square feet. You'll never get sick of being there. After one full day there, you think you'd be done, but you won't be. You'll want to go back, and you'll be just chomping at the bit to see every single thing that there is there. There's just so many more things than you can even imagine. You're going to leave the Jumpstart program with over 20 completed tasks. So even if you did nothing else, and remember, this is a six-month-long program. But even if you only did just the Jumpstart program, you're going to go home with over 20 completed tasks. This is $20,000 value just for that one portion of the program. All right, some bonuses. We've already talked about the amazing food. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner is included. Uh, we told you a lot about that. I'm not going to go into it anymore. The lodging is gorgeous. It's a beach house. You saw pictures of it, but they don't even compare to what it looks like in real life. Uh, one of the things that I don't think gets a lot of credit with this experience is just like boot camp in the Army, there's a reason why there's a boot camp. And they break you down, and then they build you back up again. And you are so mired in the experience that it, it completely takes you over so that when you're done with the experience, you can ha take these brand new habits that have now become a part of you and move forward. So the same thing with the Jumpstart experience. We house you for seven days. We just inundate you with information and, and projects and work so that every single thing that you're thinking about for seven days is about the your business and how it's going to improve. That, that's crazy. When, it, when we're not there, when the instructors are not there, Derek stays there for the whole week with everybody so that you can always get some insight if you need it. Plus, you are there with the people that you are in the program with, bouncing ideas off each other. It's just never ending. It's, it's not like going to, so some of you might be thinking, isn't that similar to going to convention where I'm around, around the people and I, I, after a whole week I go home and I'm, I really just can't implement anything after that. No, it's not like that at all because we are with you the whole time talking about your business. You're not just hearing about the mythical business. We're talking about your business and how you change your business specifically. It's much, much different than anything that you can possibly imagine unless you've done that. Um, let's see, I was hoping that we would get Sandy on the call. So if she does show up, uh, let me know. TC, uh, yep, I know we, that she has a lot. She wants to yep, say. we do have Sandy if you wanted to chime in now. You know, I would love that because Sandy could probably speak to 
the experience of Jumpstart, and also moving forward for the next six months, how you know how the programs work for her and, and what she's been able to do. Sandy, are you on there? Are you able to speak? Yes. Can you hear me? Oh, perfectly. Excellent. So tell me, what was the experience like for you at, at the Jumpstart? Well, it has been a very uh, awesome experience. Um, I did it in January this year, and I um, I didn't have that expense plan in my budget. I didn't really think that I was ready to do it or that I actually could do it, but I'm glad that I, I made the effort. I made some sacrifices to get it done because it has changed my life personally. Um, the, the way I approach my business, uh, it removed a lot of the frustration that I wasn't moving forward. And um, it's been uh, amazing. A lot of work, but now it's work that I know um, it, it will have results. It will take me to where I want to go with my business. And that was um, done through foundations and that whole week over there. Nice. And then you're also doing six months of accountability check-ins with your accountability partner, and you have one-on-one -on -one coaching calls with me, I know, because we talk a lot. And mm -hmm. so you're continuing on with the program. It's been six months later now. Right? Has it been six months already? How long has it been? No, a year. Yeah, almost That's a year. year. Oh, my gosh. And so we're still working on uh, moving your company forward and making making big changes. I know right now you're working on completely restructuring your pricing, completely restructuring your offerings. You're you're making big big changes, aren't you? Yes, yes. Um, when uh, in January I focus on restructuring within the company. Uh, getting everything in line with my employees, the training, the the manuals, everything in writing that I didn't have. Everything was in my head. I knew what I had to do, but nobody else knew. Now that that is done, and I'm ready to to move forward with everything outside uh, towards the outside to clients and services. And that was that's uh, I've been priceless working with you the whole year and have also access to Derek and Tom if I have questions in other areas that I'm not fully working a hundred percent. But um, it's been it and it's great to have you there because uh, we have the week and we learn so much and not everything can be done immediately. Uh, so throughout time that we can reach certain uh, areas that we want to work, we still have your uh, experience and input and feedback on what we need to do. So we are not alone a, a year later trying to figure out uh, what we learn and try to remember to, to put it uh, in, in yeah. place. So one of the things on the next slide, well, we talk about the membership in the private Facebook group, and that's something that you haven't really availed yourself of too much, Sandy, and we were talking about it, I don't know, maybe a week, two weeks ago, and you were saying, oh, I forgot, I need to do that more, uh, because it's one of those places where you get, you have the opportunity to bounce ideas off people, and I was just wondering, uh, why, why is it that you don't use the Facebook group as much as most people do, Sandy? Are you just too busy? Oh. Liz, Liz, can you repeat the question, please? Well, I was just wondering, you don't actually use the private Facebook group as much as a lot of our members do. Most of them are on there all the time, but you're not. So I was wondering why. I was just wondering if you can tell the listeners. Oh. Um. It's a personality, I think. I it it, it overwhelms me. Um, when I'm busy, I'm focused on what I'm doing, and Facebook really distracts me a lot. Um, I do read it more than I post. Um, I read everybody's comments. Sometimes I like the the post or the comments more than uh, what I would be writing. Um, 
it is it is helpful for me. I just if I'm there all the time, it, um, it's just the way my personality works is too much for me. Well, I actually love that about you too, Sandy. Is that you are very focused on what you're focused on. When it's time to get down to business, you are down to business. I, I've always really liked working with you because of that. All right. So thank thank you so much for speaking today, Sandy. If you have anything else that you feel like you'd like to say, feel free to break in. I wanted to talk about some of the program bonuses, and um, you have free access to all of the Cleaning Business Builders progress uh, product. Excuse me. We do a disc leadership assessment on you, um, in, including a consultation, and that is really, really enlightening for the vast majority of people. What do you think about your disc, Sandy? Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Uh, that was amazing. Um, it was, as a business owner, you really go into business and do, um, by inspiration, and at least in my case, it was a lot of knowledge from what I've learned in college, but really, um, what I've learned with the DISC assessment, it was that things that were not working or that were working for me in the business had to do with my personality. Um, and it, it helped me figure out why and how to solve the issues that I was having with um, how I work. That is not something that I was completely aware before uh, having the DISC assessment done. So it helped me realize what I'm doing right and, and appreciate that and hey. not be that hard on myself. And then <laughs> I, it was... I had pointers to fix the things that I needed. I need to fix and work on my personality to not be on my, not be a, an, my own obstacle in yes, succeeding in your own way. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I like that you brought up a point too. Is one of the things that we do in the program is we don't try and change everything that you're doing because you're doing a lot of stuff right. You wouldn't be where you are right now if you weren't doing some things very very well. And so. It's good to know that you don't, you're not supposed to change the things that you're doing well. You're just trying to blend everything and get the stuff working in the right direction. So additionally, you get three years worth of HIPEP, which is the High Performing Employee Program. So if you struggle with your employees at all, this will pretty much eliminate that problem. Uh, well, maybe not eliminate it, but it'll make it manageable and it'll make it a, a problem that you know how to deal with. Uh, team Builders is 12 packs. This is some team building exercises, um, like a month's worth. Uh, there's 12 packs, so that would be a year's worth. And usually people will do one a month. The Made Money Starter Kit, this is a motivational program that we designed. Uh, just think like money, uh, not made money, think monopoly money. That instead of handing out cash, you hand out made money to motivate your people to do different things and to incite them to do the things that are incent them to do the things that are important to you. Um, the Target Marketing Toolkit, we have a brand new one. If you've seen the old one, these are templates that are already created. You plug and play. You put your name, your company name in, and they are ready to go. Different ways of marketing your company to individual target targeted markets that you want to focus on. Uh, core value deck, saw a picture of them and one of the slides that is that there's two decks and there's English and Spanish versions. And I think they might even be both on one deck. And helps you to understand what your core values are. They help in hiring. There are a lot of different exercises, a lot of different ways to use the core value cards. Uh, professional House Cleaning Technicians Manual. This is the book that uh, is used as a resource if you are going to be uh, taking the House Cleaning Technician course. And excellent information that you're going to want to have in your company. And any of your techs can have it at any point in time. And you get a Foundations class shirt. It's a $5,879.23 value, bringing the total with all of the different slides that you just seen, all of the different things that you get to a total value of $44,379.23. You pay $79.95. Second person is only $19.99. 
And I know it sounds unbelievable, but that's actually what you're getting. So it is uh, an incredible value, and if you add it in the the amount of money that you're also going to be making because of the program would be even higher. So if you think you can't afford it, the freaky thing about this whole program is it's so expensive. We hear from people, oh, $79.95, right? Because if you don't have money right now, you don't have money. $100 can seem so expensive. But $79.95, you're like, how do you, how do, you do that? Did you know that the typical cleaning company only needs to get three new recurring clients to cover the cost of the foundation. That's nothing. Do you think that this program can help you get three new recurring clients? Of course. It's ridiculous to even think that you, we're not going to help you get three new recurring clients. If you don't get that many times over, then, then of course it, it, we'd be a failure, but that's, that's not the case. It's three. Three new recurring clients. We can help you get that on day one in the first hour of the information that we're going to be providing with providing you with. So it, it's a really small investment overall when you start thinking about it. All right, there are a ton of other things that you're going to be getting. I'm just going to run through a, a few of them here. I'm not going to read all of the stuff on these slides because there's just too much. But you're going to get some prep tools. There's um, Beforehand, we give you a bunch of stuff, and you'll be using these things during the program as well. Uh, one of the things that sounds easy is a bottleneck troubleshooter. What's that? It's like, how do you handle it when you're stuck? So moving forward, next time you're stuck, how can you get yourself out of that problem? How can you move yourself to the next step? Uh, financial calculators. Tom told you a little bit about these. There's lots of different financial calculators that we're going to be uh, providing you with and helping you to fill in and teach you how to use. If you are not uh, financially motivated or driven in that way, th this is going to feel like one of the hardest portions of the course, but we're going to make it manageable. We're going to help you figure out how to use these things so that it can be part of one of your strengths. It can be something that you're doing. You'll also see that we have KPI calculators. These are different ways of calculating all of the different key performance indicators in your company. Employee turnover rates, your payroll percent sales, sales, well, when, when should you be doing rate increases for how much? How much is that going to change your bottom line? What's that going to do to your, your income over time? Uh, break even analysis. Do you know what that number is? Where is it that you actually break even and start making money? If you don't know that number, you're struggling. You're having cash flow problems. But this one tiny calculator can help you understand how to get from here to there. Instead of having cash flow issues, you hit break even and all of a sudden cash is flowing like crazy. Uh, employee planning and recruiting information. The hiring process, your hiring process, not ours, yours. Interview questions, interview evaluation, and help you figure out what was going to work for your company. Everybody's company is different, so you need to work on what your stuff is going to be. I also get job descriptions, orientation. We're going to go quick through these. Technician training, uh, all of the different things that you need to be able to train. Trainers, trainer training. How are you going to train this trainer? The schedule. Uh, what are you going to train them? More technician training. Um, how to deal with your rookies, which is just your new new people that are working for you. Um, evaluate them. How to make sure that they get the safety training that they need. Um, employee management, personal action and goal setting programs, performance evaluation, promotions, tests. Uh, employee management as far as uh, when there's a problem. Verbal warnings, strikes, corrective action review. How do you handle it right now when your employee is giving you trouble? Maybe it's a good employee, but somehow they're giving you grief right now. What do you do? We're going to teach you what you should be doing and how to do it in your company. You'll have an employee manual. We're going to help you get all of this stuff on your employee manual. We're actually just going to give you a template to start with, and if you already have an employee manual, we're going to help you to modify it so that it includes all of this key information. Uh, the uh, manual, well, boy, we can go, we're going to go quick through these slides because there's so much stuff 
in, in them. Um, basic employee policies, what are they? Professional conduct, uh, what are all of those things? How should your employees be behaving? That's in there. There's, I think there's two pages of professional conduct and what they should be doing. Their dress code, their absences, their meal and break periods, um, their complaint procedure, how to suspend them, what are the gifts, what about alcohol in your company, what about swearing in your company. I don't know what you're going to come up with, but we're going to help you figure that out for sure. Uh, how about pay? How do you pay them now? How are you going to pay them? What makes sense in your company? Should you uh, write paper paychecks or should you have direct deposit in your company? I don't know, but we're going to help you figure that out based on your business model. Employee compensation as far as payroll, paydays. Should you pay every two weeks? Should you pay once a month? Should you pay on the 10th and the 25th? we got to figure all that out. Uh, let's see. Next, there's benefits. What benefits do you have in your company? Do you feel like you don't have enough to offer? You don't know how to get your people to stay, but you don't know what you can afford, how you can give these benefits. This, this right here is a list of different things that you can offer. Many of these things are very, very low cost and can be very, very valuable for your people. But bottom line is we're going to help you figure out if you can afford to give these benefits and which ones. Plus all this stuff, drug test source, random testing. Do you do any drug testing? Do you know how to do it? Do you know how to do it in 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 your location or on site or off site? What are some of the other expenses that you're going to run into? We're going to talk about your office procedures, uh, parking, access to office, telephone use, front meeting room. These things sound like they're wow, not really all that important, but they're all pieces of the foundations that make up your company. You have to have this stuff in place to be able to build your company on top of them so that everything's already set and you don't end up with things falling through the cracks or people misunderstanding or miscommunicating. Don't forget safety. Safety is a really big deal. Uh, labor and Industries, the Labor Board insists that you teach about safety and your company. You have to be um, doing a safety meeting, I, I think it's monthly, maybe we do monthly in our company. Are you doing that? If not, you could be in some trouble. So we're going to teach you the different things that you need to be doing, how to go about that, how to make that happen. More employee policies, theft, how do you handle theft right now? Do you have a program, do you have a, a process? We're going to help you with that. Your lead and sales process, uh, do you, do you get your leads online? Do you get them from your cars? Do you get them from your current clients? Oh, what do you do? How do you handle that? You talk about the open to close sales process. Uh, you get estimate information, everything. Uh, client relations, uh, being proactive and being reactive. This is a, a, a pretty comprehensive course that we teach on managing your clients so that your clients don't leave. That's a really big deal. You know, we're always focusing on getting new clients, getting new clients. But you know what? If you just keep your clients, you're not going to have to struggle as much as the sales. You're always going to need to do sales. You're not in business if you're not doing sales, but this can help you to grow your business much faster. Also, we're going to get information on procedures. Uh, I'm not going to go over all of this because you guys know what that is. Uh, it's real basic stuff, but we're going to help you define what you want, what you need, so that you can train your people. Uh, the training tools, your operations, your bill rate. Again, we're talking about some um, a calculator here and how you're going to bill. Different, different methods of figuring out how you want to bill your clients. Workloading, production planning, uh, grill and target marketing, Google, SEO, AdWords. Do you have an AdWords account? Is it effective? We're going to make sure that, that, that it is. Do you use your Google Plus page? Why not? We need to help you get that set up. Social media, Facebook. Uh, the last thing on, on this page here on the right is a really, really big deal. Uh, this is the plan to get it all done. That, that doesn't sound like much, but that's it right there. You Well, we're going to be giving you the 2016 business plan. You will be creating a brand new business plan for the entire year in January. 
a brand new marketing plan for the entire year, your SEO calendar. You're going to have an action and implementation plan for the entire year. It's not going to be just what are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do next week? How are you going to get to where you want to be at the end of 2016? We're going to show you how to get where you want to be in a year, not just the things that you want to do without focus. Okay, so what should you do? Same thing as before. If you're still interested and you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I really need this program, I can almost guarantee that you do. I can't guarantee it without talking to you, but if you send us a chat right here on the right-hand side on this window, we'll talk to you. We'll find out, is it a program for you? Can you do this program or not? Some people can't work hard enough. They don't, they don't want to work as hard as it's going to take to put this program into action. So this is actually a program that is going to require your complete attention. You are going to have to work it. We're not just going to give you stuff, send you home, and then you're done. It's, it, it's not, we're not a franchise here, but what we are going to give you is all of the tools to create the business that you have always dreamt of having. Do you, do you think that it should be easier? You're right. It should. And we're going to teach you how to make it like that. So it's $79.95. Contact us. Derek, Tom, myself, CC. There's our email address, our website. Um, again, send a chat to us in the window on the right. That little orange arrow up on the top right can pop out a window so that you can chat if you have any questions. I see that we are one minute over, but we started three minutes late. So we have two minutes if anybody has any questions. We don't have any questions that have come through at this time. Um, I will say uh, Sandy had to jump off. She had a, a client call in, so she was working on that uh, using her foundation's processes that she worked out. <laughs> yeah, good for her. So, well, thank you guys so much for, for joining us. Um, as I mentioned up front, in case you weren't um, on the webinar when we first started, uh, this has been recorded. I'll be sending out a recording as well as some additional materials uh, that you can access to review some of the content. Um, I'll send you a, a sample of the schedule. We're still tweaking it um, for, for January, but I'll, I'll send you that so you can see kind of how things break out hour by hour, literally hour by hour. <laughs> Um, and uh, some other information related to what all comes with the program so that you have in your hands and don't have to go searching for the information. I'll have that to you in an email uh, by the end of, of today. So I'm certainly looking forward to talking with those who have contacted us so far. Um, we've only got a few spots left in the house. We do, Liz mentioned that there might be one or two beachfront rooms. We actually do have one beachfront room left that has its own balcony. Um, double sink, a tub, and a shower. So if, you, if you're a couple, that would be a really great one to grab. <laughs> it's a nice big room with a king size bed, beachfront, everything. So, um, uh, and I will say all of the rooms have access to the main balconies on each floor, just not all of them have a private, uh, you know, their own uh, entrance to the balcony directly from the room. So it's a really fantastic house and uh, we really enjoy um, hosting in it um, for, for this event. Makes it all really the rooms do have, fun. Sorry, CC. I think all the rooms do have their own bathrooms too, don't they? They do and that's, I always forget about that, but it is such, such a blessing to have that. Nobody has to share a bathroom with anybody else. Yeah, I love that. that. That can be a bigger deal than you think for, for folks. Um, so really glad to be able to say that. <laughs> really yeah. glad. It would be good for me, that's for sure. Absolutely. Well, I'm getting the signal that we are well just over the full hour time. Um, so like I said, we've got some folks we're going to be following up with. Um, shortly and uh, thank you again so much uh, for, for giving your time to us today to learn more about the Foundations of Success program. We will be in touch shortly to, uh, to schedule your consultations. Thanks so much everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks. Thanks, Cece. Thank you. Bye everybody. Bye-bye.